is true. Yeah, there's nothing in England anymore. Mm-hmm. You guys have a forest. I mean, heck, a lot of people don't even know England has a forest. What do you mean? It's not just a forest. We've got hundreds of forests. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, you have. I know you have more than one forest, but people don't even know you have a forest. Well, how would they not know? Because it's an island. No one really. When people think of England, they don't think of forests. They, what think, do of they think of hills, rolling plains, and nothing. I don't know what sort of islands people go on nowadays, but there's not a lot of forests on a lot of islands. Actually, I take it back. Hawaii has a giant tropical fort, rainforest on it. Catalina Island has large. Yeah, there's yeah a lot of islands in forest. Welcome back to End to End, the podcast where we talk about all things funny and a few things not. I'm your host, Duhad. Joining me, as always, are the Lightning Rabbit. Hello. Cabral. I like how I'm like a normal here. Fair enough. And we finally got rid of Firebolt. He's never coming back and is not Firebolt. just at work uh, for one day. Yeah, he'll be back. Real seats. No, he'll he won't. Back. No, he's gone forever. It's He's actually gone. With weapons. Anyway, uh, we also have a special guest accident? with us here. We yeah. have a special guest with us here on the show today. Uh, I'd like you all to meet Mr. Cotton Candy, the only Cotton Candy Tumblr blog artist person. Hey guys, I'm still He's... I'm finishing up eating. Oh. I'll be eating no, no, it's all right. <laughs> it's like I have like two I have like two bites left. <laughs> that's not an Fair enough. That's two bites is still chug, bites. Chug, chug, chug. Wait, that's no, if he drinks. chokes, then we'll be liable. Joke, 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 joke. <laughs> the interview ended right on there. Your, your, your um, episode of End to End is like five minutes long. Because yeah, <laughs> he choked to death. <laughs> and <you're> really <laughs> awkward. Uh. And just, just really <laughs> well, it really did come to an end. No. Oh, oh, no. Oh, right oh. after that, Cabral was fired. <laughs> um, we never saw Cabral again. Uh. And then I fell off the face. He had a like, fireboat. Yes. Yes. Anyway, so Cotton Candy here is the author and writer, sorry, no, the author and artist of the only Cotton Candy Tumblr, uh, which is a art Tumblr starring Cotton Candy, the pink haired, white, not weird unicorn thing. Actually, why you, why you explain Cotton Candy? Because I, I, I can't. Well, it is that. his thing, so it probably would help. Yeah. Well, Cotton Candy is. Um, Pony. Yes. Uh, oh. Cotton Candy is a tulpa. And I don't really want to get into, like, the whole tulpa deal. But, like, basically an imaginary friend, which I, have like, basically started the blog in the direction of Cotton Candy to, like, try and visualize her better. Yeah. And now Bear in mind, the... of course, he's going to become a doctor, so it's okay. <laughs> that, that's a little bit weird, because as shows like Monk, Twin Peaks, and others Monk. have Monk's taught good. us, being really fucking weird it doesn't matter if you have a high-paying professional job that is incredibly hard to do. So basically, exactly. what we're trying to say in no uncertain terms, Gene, is that you're really fucking weird. <laughs> I thought there was no F-words in this. No, I'll bleep it. I'm allowed to do it because I'm the one editing. <laughs> so he's allowed to do it, and no I'm one else is. Why should I say it and you just bleep it later? No, because then you're making work for me, and it's on my own back if I <laughs> do it myself. You just made work for yourself by doing that. You realize this, it's right? Like, yeah, but he has, he has no one to blame he but himself. Totally, yeah, yeah, he totally just forgot that his own rules. Yeah, I did. I, technically, they're my. I think they're my rules, aren't they? Or the yeah. Point is, yeah. when we have a live show. We're like, we are going to eventually have live shows uh, due to something that's coming up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so if you ever feel the need it's to kind of surprising go that, that I control myself bef- I, I, it's like I kind of surprising that lightning loss control myself before I can't before believe I it did. I was the first one to crack under the pressure <laughs> It's Never kind of ridiculous. And I'm not even the one who normally swears normally it's you and suddenly you passed it on to me. Actually, I'm the one who doesn't swear Well, okay, you don't either, but I mean like a- After Cabral, but like Cabral you have your own vices 
Mm. Yeah. Lightning Rabbit, Rabbit, though, he's things. usually not a big swearing person. Like, he's normally the moral authority of the group, but now suddenly he's just popping off the swear. <laughs> so next thing you that. know, you're going to be saying those things that we were saying before the show started oh. that cannot be oh. even referenced. Because That's like, let let us not the reference them. Yes. Lightning, you have to beep Rebecca. everything he just said. Like, Yeah, <laughs> just have to bleep everything because <laughs> we can't even reference it. We can't even reference the reference. Yeah. Should we go back to ponies? This is a topic about ponies. Yeah, well, I, I think we're here talking about to... some guy who was a doctor. The doctor. Who? Not the uh, doctor, a doctor. All right. Well, he's oh, the doctor. A doctor. He's not even a doctor yet. Yeah, I don't know why we're being so like so courteous towards him. A pony. He'll never uh, treat you me. You need to address me as doctor. The only hand cotton candy now. <laughs> okay, fine. Doctor, yes, the only doctor cotton candy. Yes, doctor, the only cotton candy. <laughs> In addition to uh, creating Dr. the only card- candy, his heart has stopped. What shall I do? Draw pictures of tulpas. To- <laughs> In addition to creating the only cotton candy tumbler, you're also responsible for the uh, was it Rambo Dash? Oh, Rambo Dash is some like random thing that I was on a live stream one day, and I was like, "Lol, I really love Rambo." Oh, Rambo <laughs> Dash. Oh my goodness, and I just like. Quickly all tabbed, pressed the new tab, and then, like, I, like, rushed with all of my might to, like, make that URL before anyone else takes it. Yeah. And, like, now I'm only <laughs> doing this blog. I'm only doing this blog beca- on the principle that I have this URL. Like, if there wasn't that URL, I wouldn't have done anything for it. Does Rambo Dash in your mind look like this? I've just sent a link for the benefit of the, the link video. for the benefit of the call is a picture of Rambo painted blue with <laughs> a Rambo Dash kitty mark on his arm and Rambo Dash's tail, hair, and wings sticking out at odd angles. Oh, that's funny. Um, I'm gonna like counter that. link. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> like counter strike. I'm gonna raise you <laughs> for the benefit of the you. call, once again, assuming Alex is super lazy and doesn't actually post these pictures, they yeah, that'll it, probably be the case to be honest, right? Anyway, uh, is a picture of Rainbow Dash wearing a black tank top and headband, holding a combat knife with a crosshair beauty mark and a bloody bandage wrapped around her. How do ponies chest. hold anything like? I think I, I think three seasons three seasons and one movie in we shouldn't even worry about this. Anymore. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. been way too long to start worrying about the basics like how do they hold things when they don't have fingers. I think what they did is those horseshoes. They developed these magnetic systems so that what happens with no, the horseshoes they're holding a magnetic rubber. cloaking so you can't that, see them. Yeah. <laughs> we're not getting to exactly. freaking magnets because that with leads the us to. You that do realize that, to memoirs of a reality jumper. Well, how the hell do they hold things that aren't metal then? Um, well, they, obviously, they put non-metal, magnets in there. Non-metal magnets? Into... Squeezing no. it. Oh, squeezing yeah, that's it, right. Like, no, 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 the fact that there's, there's, there's a category of everything. Being... All of being... Sorry, go ahead, go ahead. I was just going to say, Celestia has made it law that everything must have a magnet in it, regardless of how small right. or big it is. Yeah, yeah, I can confirm this being so, being a doctor. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. There are, there are several types of magnets. One that... It, the most common household magnet attracts metal. There's There's... There's uh, magnets that attract polyurethane, which is plastics. Yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> there's there's magnets that um, attract people. Right. And I'm one of them. <laughs> Who's attracted to you? <laughs> I see what you did there. So. Yeah, I'm not entirely happy with that. I think it's getting <laughs> leaves. But actually, Keen, I, I I'd 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 when did you become an artist? When did you start doing artwork? Um, I. Uh... As a pony artist, I started about a year, a little bit less than a year ago. But like, as just like drawing random. Shit. Oh, you gotta beep deep that out. Sorry. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as for drawing random stuff, um, for drawing random Age stuff, I um, started since I was like six or something. And I mean, honestly, actually, everyone started drawing when they're like two. It was just scribbles. Yeah. Unfortunately, my oh, drawing. There's, there's a point in my it. life where I was like, "Oh, I really want to be like an animu animator," <laughs> and like, <laughs> and but, like I bought a, I, I like rented or like rented. Um, I borrowed a book from the library called "How to Draw Manga," <laughs> and I just <laughs> sat down and drew stuff like that. And I oh, didn't geez. actually read the book. I just looked at the pictures and I like traced them and stuff. So, <laughs> yeah. so did okay. you draw based on what you saw, or did you like trace over them? Um, I, I tried drawing based on what I saw, 
like at first it didn't really work out so i i put my paper over the book i turned on the lamp and i just traced them and then eventually eventually that eventually like i got used to like drawing stuff like that and that's like how i draw ponies now like um if there's certain poses and that like anatomy that i'm not familiar with a reference yeah, I find a reference. It's not really a reference because I literally just completely trace it. Yeah. Like, um, stealing artwork. If, if I could, if I could show you this uh, completely original work that I have. Um, let's see. I think. Yeah, there you know, we go. The way you said completely original doesn't really inspire. It's me. even titled "Completely Original Space Work." PNG. <laughs> Why didn't you put a space between the? I'm actually, uh, for pony art, I'm the same way. I need a good reference and yeah. a traceover. I mean, it's difficult yeah, to draw things know. without a reference at all. Yeah, if you guys look at that, like, that's how, <clears throat> like, that's one of the, like, uh, basically references, quote-unquote, I totally just traced to get used to, like, pony sitting. The shape and contours. Mm. Pony, pony sitting anatomy. And, like, that's what I do for everything. Like, uh, everyone who asks me, like, uh, what's, like what should I do to like start drawing ponies? I'm like just like trace, trace forever. Like I have a folder that's like about, I have a folder with like almost twenty something, fifty something images that are just like complete traces yeah. that like I don't show anybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No one's actually seen them. It's actually this completely original work. Yeah. And yeah, it's actually a good way to get uh, into getting artwork if you don't know if you're not unfamiliar with the biology of certain character tracing it and then learning it is really helpful yeah i uh, also i'm an artist who doesn't really use the like ball and stick model like you, you draw three balls oh, yeah, three that. circles and you connect them oh with I, sticks, i've never done that before you, either. yeah like, I, I don't know I, I can't do that i yeah, like I it doesn't ever that. work for me when i do that because i never draw the circles yeah. right i'm gonna like to, in my mind, I'm gonna like okay. I'm gonna have to find a reference where they use like a tutorial thing where they show us like the circles yeah. and then trace those trace to, get the used to, the <laughs> to get used to drawing the circles like that, yeah. and then start yeah. tracing. And then it's just like, oh, well, it's like just extra work, like whatever. <laughs> no, uh, I have enough. to say though, the completely original work, I, I love the uh, art direction of it. Actually, the shading. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I love Completely the fact original. that it's traced. It's like, it's all, it was all me. Yeah. I love the fact that it's traced. Wait a second, isn't that creative? <laughs> no, no, it's a trills. You should, oh, yeah, it probably is. Oh, it look, okay. It's the way you've done it. It looks exactly like something creative would have done. <laughs> creative <laughs> was our guest last, now, like two weeks ago on the show. Yeah. <laughs> the last. Like that, yeah. Fun fact. Wait, 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 wait. Actually, wait, wait. Uh, I wanna, yeah. how much do you guys want to bet that my video or this video starring me will get more views than the video starring him. Oh, for God, not this. Probably, You've got yeah. so many followers hey, you know on Tumblr. you prove that? Post this video on your Tumblr. And well, yeah, all of your followers <laughs> to, I kind of assumed he was going to. She's going to gonna make a competition for... out of it. What yeah. video? It wasn't, okay, there was no competition to begin with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, this is true. You, you have know, a valid if point. If Creative the... ever watches this back, I don't think he will. But if he ever does, there's a hidden insult in here. I don't think he'll last this long into the thing. No one does. <laughs> I, honestly, I didn't watch his either much. Yeah. I, I heard him say hi. And I, I didn't like, watch okay. his either. <laughs> and you were just like, no, that's too much. I don't want to watch it. And I don't expect I him to do it. any more than I did. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll feel really bad if he does. Yeah. But I'll just tell him, oh, yeah, I listened to all your interviews. Mm. But he won't listen to all of this, so it's all right. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know who does. We we have like quotes to, uh, like we'll say like a word, and they have to relay it back in the comments if they last like a certain length or something like that. Yeah, if they video. watch till the end, there's a secret word, and you're not allowed to pick <laughs> secret, secret word because I know what you're like. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, no, we're not letting you come up with the secret Lang word. Gene okay. picked the secret word. Yeah. Um, anyway, oh. hey, you know, speaking of secret words, there's two other uh, art projects you well, actually there's three other art projects you work on. Uh, you are an artist for Philly Games, which we have actually had many, many people from Philly Games on here. Uh, Heck, we have two of, three of them right here. <laughs> including me and AR. Yeah, yeah, including you two. So you do work for that. That's got to be fun. It's, um... <laughs> no, let's actually... talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, here's, here's the thing. Like, uh, I'm just a background artist for Philly Games. Mm. And backgrounds are so, like... Boring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, writers. If you're but listening, I love to this, backgrounds. Like, like backgrounds are really boring, like, and like, and like, um, 
like if there's so much more work that goes into a background than a simple pony yeah. doodle but it like feels really unrewarding cuz like you you like you like um upload something and it's like oh it's a background and people are like, oh, whatever. Yeah. If you upload, like, a pony doing something really cute and stupid, it'll get, like, 500 notes. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I noticed You have that. a point. Like, it's very <clears throat> tedious. Like, I was doing backgrounds recently. It's really tedious, and it's not very rewarding, because when you upload it somewhere, like, something you spend five minutes on, some, like, really crappy doodle of a pony, gets, like, a million views, and the background gets one. And some guy yeah, saying, exactly. can I use this for my thing? And then his thing gets more views than your thing did. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, he, he'll credit you on his thing, but, like, it doesn't help. Yeah, no one's actually going to go there. <laughs> the background, like, no as important as it is, like, a, a good a good pony image will look really bad if there's a bad background. Yeah. But, like, people tend to, like, overlook the, um, the just, like, how much effort it goes into backgrounds. Yeah. Yeah. They just look at it um, and they don't even realize how much work went into it. Like, you spend a week on something and people just look at the OC in the foreground with a rainbow colored mane and red eyes and, like, and go, oh, it's so beautiful. OC ever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No offense Actually, to all the people uh, who have used my artwork for that because I know there are some out there who did. They just jelly about how awesome your OC is. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, and, oh my goodness. Hey, Kutin, I, 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 dang, I called you that again. Anyways, out of curiosity, have you seen, because I put a lot of work in the backgrounds actually compared to um, up front OCs. I don't know if you've seen my artwork before. No, I haven't. Can you, sh can you link me? Uh, <laughs> I, I have some. Like a, a site, unfortunately. Yeah, I do have, have a, let's I have a, 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 I have a deviant art. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can find... I found this. It's a drawing working out for someone's radio play. Let's see. Dropbox link work. You know something... Dang it, Dropbox uh, work. There Lightning goes. Rabbit, you're going to have so many pictures to put up for this one episode. I don't even know that I'll do it anymore. It's just like... There's a tolerable <laughs> amount. Yeah. And there's stuff that is well, just I mean, too... Like, it's completely untenable at this point. <laughs> it's like four images. Why is my internet... Well, if someone else wants to it's, edit the images in, they like can. Four, you have a point. It is like four right, images, right. and that's this, it. This episode you can do, but then from now on, I'm just going to you know, edit the episodes because you know, uh, you're, I'll, I'll record and edit them. Because You'll see how fun it is when you have to listen to an hour-long thing finding... I things. have. Remember when we read how many, uh, how many days of you know that one story? Yes, uh, I remember that. I had to go through the entire hour-and-a-half-long recording, which was horrific. Yes. Horrific, and put images to like every single thing that happened, which is not just people referencing images. It was finding images that fit the context of what we were talking about. Yeah. Which was horrific. Surely then that's the exact same as doing no, wait, wait, wait. On the, on no, the, slightly on, like, more mild for every single week. Duhad said horrific. Could you like put it into the video like like could you slow down his voice and right. put, on, <laughs> put a text like horrific. <laughs> okay, I'll do that. Yeah. Also, edit edit what like I just said. You know you edit what I just said out so it doesn't seem like <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. know, leave, leave it also in, so lightning. it's just like, just like that no, no, happens no. several times, and then it's like, here's the explanation. Here's the reason why. <laughs> yeah, Lightning, take that part where you said horrific three times, put that at the beginning of the episode, and just hear him say, horrific, horrific, horrific. Hello, guys, <laughs> welcome to end-to-end -end of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and then they'll come um, to this point. I found my demon make... art. I'm like, oh, make... I get it, it's a reference. It's like this completely tangled up thing, we're just using references from the end of the show at the beginning. Yeah. Anyway, and speaking, yeah, speaking of which, there are two other projects that you are working on. Uh, neither of which I actually want to go into too great depth on. Partly one because we're actually going to be talking about that at a different uh, episode, and the other because it's not something we can really talk about at any length here. But uh, oh, you, you also, about, when I don't want to mention the, stuff uh, about Billy Gates, not safe for work. Yeah, thing. well, you, you also do that. Um, mm -hmm. You do a not safe for work blog, which is very popular. Yeah. Yeah, more popular than the other one, probably. No, actually, yeah. not really. See, that's surprising. <laughs> <laughs> no, the thing it's actually like um it, it's like when you first think about it it kind of is but like um you what happens is like not safe for work images tend to get a lot of notes. People a lot of people tend to see it because um I mean it's not the whole safe. Like every everything everything everywhere will always have not safe for work content of it. That's mm. just like rule 34 yeah, of the true. internet. But mm. um Basically, but like the thing is, people more people tend to like stuff like that. 
people will see it, but like, um, and like uh, on Tumblr especially, like people love reblogging that kind of stuff. Mm. Whereas, whereas like um, you don't like with a normal thing, most people tend to not reblog it that as often. So, as a result, I get more notes overall on my not safe for work blog, but less mm. followers. So. Yeah, I have about a thousand something less followers on the um, yeah. on the porn blog than I do on my not safe for work. Fact, on my I, safer blog. I have a question uh, on the porn blog as opposed to the not safe for work blog. They're entirely different things. <laughs> They're completely different things. I have a question then. Um, so, is there rule thirty four of rule thirty four? Yes. Like, yeah. That's a little. Uh, rule thirty four. Yeah. The the, the, the actual number is rule thirty four. You know. Then one another. I, I oh, think. I, oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I there's, remember there's it, actually, but I do remember. There's actually like rule thirty four, like the letters and numbers, like yeah, do going at it. <laughs> oh yeah, here it is. <laughs> I found it. Don't, yeah, don't link that. Uh, he found it. Also, oh, anyways, now you don't should we go back to like related it. topics? No. Uh, so anyway, um, the last thing we were going to talk about real quick, and again, we're going to go into this in more depth later on, so we're not going to talk about it now so much. But you also were one of the artists on the new Professor Libra Tumblr. Oh, Wait, the uh, you... Professor Liar Tumblr, actually. Well, <laughs> here, here's no. the thing. You're the writer for it. You're the guy who made mm. the uh, idea, and you're, like, speaking as if, yeah. like, a completely neutral third party. Yeah, I wonder why we're bringing <laughs> this so, up well, in the interview. I did the no. same. I... I've never heard of this well, Tumblr. Yeah, no, I'm just Shit. biasly saying that's the greatest Tumblr in the history of the universe. Oh, and yeah, yeah, it definitely is, because it combines two of the greatest Tumblr artists of all time. Um, it does. Uh, Indie Hearts and uh, you know, <laughs> Time Candy. Most uh, with importantly. Really. Banner art from the creative Foundation. Actually, uh, I think I'm one of the most amazing artists ever. It's really Lightning just... stops sharing root pictures. Okay, yeah, this dude, will be the seriously. Last one. Uh, rule 60... 34, God damn it. <laughs> Roll a bunch of numbers, oh my goodness. <laughs> Roll 17. God, oh, why mean? would you do that? That is oh. such a good one, come on. Oh, God damn I have it. Okay. <laughs> anyway, point is, point is, um, um, lost my training thought there. Honestly, kind of. Professor Lyra. Woody Professor Lyra is, uh, yeah, is the comic that uh, we are going to actually do like a like once that actually kind of takes off a little bit more. We're going to try and have the uh, just have the whole the whole team on as a as a thing. But uh, so we're not going to talk about it too much right now. That but yeah, that is a thing good. that people from end to end work on. I don't uh, work on it. That is, well, you're the only one who doesn't because uh, Lightning Rab is actually technically an editor. Oh yeah. So, uh, I just so left out. Fine, don't use my beautiful artwork, hater. We uh, anyway, people on this show are involved in it, and it's really nice, so you should check it out. There's a link in the description. Yeah. Well, I haven't seen much of it yet, but from what they've said, apparently it's pretty nice. There are four posts up right now. Oh, really? I missed all of them. Uh, <laughs> all right, time to link. Uh, links. Links. So many links. Just for the... Link, can you put like a picture of Link from Zelda up? No. Oh, no more, no images. Come on, Alex. The more, the more stuff you do for a video, the more viewers it will get. Like it'll keep it entertaining enough. I'm for... working on that. Exactly. This We're not gonna a have a single You're not picture. You're supposed to watch it anyway. Link, Link, gonna... Link. Like there will be a bunch of links everywhere. Like Link in the Four Swords. Like. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, Legend of Link. Legend of Link. And then you're going to put, Legend like, a Game Link Boy Link, Link up there. Link you, you remember those Game Boy Color Links? Does anyone else remember those? Oh, yeah! Oh, the, one of those you guys, there too. There's a, there's a GIF of, um... There is a oh, GIF yeah. of, like, um... Of, a, like, two Game Boys exchanging Pokemon through oh, a yeah. Link cable. But it's, oh, like, okay. Link the uh -huh. character and Cable the character. Yes. <laughs> yes, I remember that. I love that. That was really good. So, 20 years of Pokemon's coming up, people. Oh, wow. Yeah. I feel... I, my my Pokemon thing died after Leaf Green Fire. After you saw R34 of it. Oh, no. I should, no, shut I, up. I, I, I really gave up after, like, Red and Blue. I know, like, everyone's like, no, but Gold and Silver were the bestest ones. Actually, Gold and Silver sucked. It's a really <laughs> unpopular <laughs> opinion, <laughs> but I think it sucked. Something Thank you. Is the fact that I've never actually played so a Pokemon much. game. 
Okay, no, no, you're playing never, Emerald. You're playing never Emerald. mind. No, no, Lightning. <laughs> Lightning playing sucks. Emerald with us, remember? <laughs> no, I just... No, Lightning's playing Emerald with us in a Let's Play. I He's playing had, blind. Like, oh my god, board. that's the worst generation ever. Oh, wow. You, you couldn't even have gone with, like, saying crappy like Silver and Gold. No, you had to go all the way to the worst bottom of the barrel. Ever <laughs> have you played Black and White? That's the bottom of the barrel. No, no, no. The, okay. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, what happens is red, blue, yellow, they were, like, shining examples of awesome. <laughs> Yes. And then silver and gold were kind of like tarnished versions of la la la. Let's continue this because we're marketing ploy. And yeah. then sapphire, ruby, and emerald. I don't know what they did. What about like, X and Y? Messed, messed it up completely. And then they <laughs> then they got it right. Fire red leaf green was green. like literally the best thing so that good. ever happened in Pokemon. Yeah, that was such have a good. Have you played idea. um? Actually, out, out of curiosity, no, no, hey, shush, we're going through the list first. Dive, dive bomb. Well, dive hold on. Well, I want to know if he was. Well, back. No, we we, we get to What's that up? after we're done with main series. All right. What? Main series. Finish up your main series point. Oh yeah. After after leaf green, fire red. It was just like in a. It was just in like a straight ninety degree towards the ground, like undefined curve. Yeah. There's a black and white, X and Y, <laughs> X and Y. Yeah. Diamond um, and Pearl. I have a question, actually. Oh, I, I blocked this from my memory. Okay, now, Cabral, what was it you were going to say? I was going to ask if he's played the Mystery Dungeon. Any of them. Oh, I love that game. Have yeah. you played Sky? Yes. I love oh, the story. Yeah, yeah see, see, the see, Mystery Dungeon was great because it was like Pokemon, but it's like not the same thing. And like you're playing as the Pokemon and there's yeah. a legitimate story you fall in love with. Also, Pokemon Pinball was really awesome. Oh god, that game was so that good. Was awesome. I have a question. <gasps> What's that? Did we get from ponies to if Pikachu Pokemon? is the first Pokemon that, like, you see in the wild, why do you only ever see one of them? Where where are all the other the ones? Stupidest noob talking right now. What? <laughs> wow. No, no, he's not. Okay, okay, Rabbit. He's not the first one you see in the wild. Rattata is the first one you see in the wild, and they're everywhere. Pikachu is actually kind of a rarity throughout the hat rarity. Why are they so rare? Rarity. Ah, rarity. Back to ponies. <laughs> Oh, for God's sake! Don't make it worse back. Pony. No. Go to hell, Gene. That's what <laughs> Jay's <laughs> worst pony. Cotton Candy's worst pony. Speaking of ponies, what got you into My Little Pony? Oh, that was a really standard interview question. We should have started with that in the beginning, actually. Well, but... why would we do that? <laughs> we started like. It interesting like... in the beginning, though. So we were like, we're anyway, your uh, obsession with trying to make everything about this ponies. This is one we bring up when we've got nothing else to ask. I don't even <laughs> think anyone's made it this far. If you've made it this far, the secret word is. Oh, that's what we uh, forgot. When we interviewed the voice of Spitfire, we never asked her how she got in. Uh, uh, how she got involved in the fandom, as in yes, like. Yes. No, no we, I mean we, like. We did. No, we we asked her, how, she's how did you totally into... not actually a voice actor, and we can ask the her The secret that. word is cotton candy. How did she find out about it, and why did she become a brony? Yeah, if, you, if you've <laughs> gotten this she, she, far she into the brony. interview... That's, that's what I'm word. saying, What's... you can't ask that, then. Yeah, no, like, that's Actually, no, no, no. It's cotton candy flour. Yeah. Yeah, if you've gotten yeah. this far into the interview, the word is cotton candy flour. Type that below if you made it this far into the interview. If you're going to make oh, it yeah. farther, oh. we're going to have another secret word. Mm. Okay, so yeah, actually, by the way, real quick point, uh, I just wanted to point out here, uh, from all the way back to the beginning, the reason ponies can pick up things with their hooves, because they're all made of marshmallows, and marshmallows are just sticky. Bam, done. All right, ah! now. So they, have the, so they lick, ill. that's disgusting. They walk around on dirt, other I know, stuff, it's, grass. It's friggin' nasty as hell. But no, 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 here's, here's the thing. So they're living beings, right? So we can only assume that their marshmallow skin, mm -hmm. it, like, um, this, the marshmallow skin cells... Uh, reproduce just as quickly as ours. Yeah, so they so, just like all or shed. even faster actually because it's magic and whatever that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so so as they take steps, they just leave behind the sticky marshmallow residue. <laughs> How do they not just <laughs> completely <laughs> like, no, 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 but like, but like, you know, I just he, people have been do, like ponies been walking around a quest just so long that the entire land is made of can like marshmallow residue. Oh my god. So, Dude, so, 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 the like so you can literally, it's like Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory, you could literally just eat the Yeah, floor. yeah, if, you, if a human ever goes to a quest, you're first they'll sink into like this like three foot deep pool of marshmallow residue. Yeah, but it's all dirty though. No, it won't be anymore, no, it's, it's probably like three foot high by now. <laughs> Looks like it's dirt, but that's just... Once you get a little like... bit under, it's going to get a little bit dirty, but like you can probably eat like most of it. Yeah, much you can eat the top levels. Yeah, yeah, and, and the that. gems that Spike eats, they're just crystallized, crystallized marshmallow oh, candies. Oh, look at this. They're it's like just... Jolly Ranchers. Well, you, that, like... that must be it. That must be how the universe works. <laughs> Dude, this makes so much sense. It yeah. does, definitely. 
Another thing okay, I was going to so, say also. You know, Cotton Candy, master of understanding the universe. How how was it exactly <laughs> you you originally got into this here in the fandom? Um, what happened was um, I've always seen pony things. Like I was um. I was, I was like since he was frequent... bored. He's always seen pony uh-huh. things. I was frequent. I was a frequent um, like a uh, four channer. So like slash P O L, oh. slash X, slash T V, slash C O, and like I slash clop clop. Um, I was, I was, I was gonna leave at the end of slash. It just ends well, in slash. Now I'm gonna have to. Leave. Well. Uh-huh. I was just saying clip clop like. Yeah, yeah, sure. No, no, nothing, yeah, like, nothing. It's just the sound horses make when they move. Um, the only thing. So, like, um, it was, like, around um, October, like, when the series first came out. Like, 4chan was flooded with these images. Like, I was like, what are these things? And, like, I thought what they were cute, things? but I didn't really, I didn't really, like, get, I really didn't really, like, look into it. I was just like, yeah, they're kind of cute, but, like, they're My Little Pony, ew. <laughs> I love Pretty good. How people's opinions change. Yeah, so what happened was, um, two years later, uh, two years? When was, uh, middle of season two? Was it two years after the premiere? Uh, it was like a year and a half. Middle season two was last year. It was like a year and a half. A year and a half after the premiere? Yeah, it was like a year and a half. Okay, yeah, so about that time, I was, like, doing an internship, and, um, I was doing a in- research internship at, like, uh, the med- my med- local medical center, and I was um, it was in charge of culturing, like, a bunch of cells. And just, like, quick background, it takes, like, no effort or attention to, like, <laughs> culture cells. I, I thought so, you were going to say culturing like, a bunch of well, people. Surely you don't actually have to do much. No, cause... no. What you, what you do is basically you take the initial culture, you put it into a giant flask, and then you transfect it with whatever vector you need it to be, you need, like, it to have. And then you just let it sit there for two hours add like antibiotics after well, another thing like there's nothing another like, few hours it. and then like you wait and wait in it overnight for the thing but if you like get it done at 12 you have to take it <laughs> out by like 5 p.m or something yeah yeah so it was really boring and i had i had other things to do that i finished because there was just so much like boring time for me to do nothing yeah so i was like okay like, I can't really, like, play games here because the hospital Wi-Fi doesn't allow, like, P2P connections. Yeah. So, so like, I went on YouTube and I was like, okay, what do I watch? And on, like, the featured YouTube thing was, like, My Little Pony, like, um, episode one. And I'm like, okay, well, I got nothing else to do. Let's do this. <laughs> or, I'm uh, bored. Might as well no, no, you know what it was? You know what it was? It was, um... What was that thing? Is it Epic Wub Time? Yeah. It was uh, that... Vinyl, Vinyl and Octavia. Yeah. They, uh, yeah, yeah Epic the Wub Time. Thing. I saw thing. that first. That was my first Pony, like, thing I've watched. Like, um, it was on YouTube suggested because it was, like, um, because, like, um, one of the guys that I follow or subscribe to, like, liked it. So I was like, okay, like, let's just go watch this. So I watched it and I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. And I thought that was what the show actually was. So, like, I thought, like, the part where, like, where uh, Vinyl uses her base cannon against Discord, I thought that was actually part of the show. (laughs) And I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. Like, I'm going to go and watch the show now. And, like, on the suggested was, like, the episodes. I was like, okay, cool. I'm going to go find out where this, um, I'm find out, like, find where, like, it happens in the show. So I just started watching the show. And after, like, five episodes, I just couldn't stop watching. Yeah. And I, I subsequently went to that BronyCon and bought, like, three pony shirts. Wait, and over the second. course of the next year until now, I have, like, 30-something pony shirts that I just cycle on and off. Wait, didn't I know... I swear that I knew you before Epic Web Time came out. I don't think so. I joined Philly Games almost a year ago. Last year. No, oh, fair enough. Because I've been here a it while was like, now. It was like the middle of the summer in Philly. Game. It was, huh? It was the middle of the summer. Yeah, I haven't ever worked as much now as I did back then. <gasps> I used to do loads oh. of like artwork. I used to stuff. get out a background a week. I haven't gotten a background in three, four. I know. <laughs> I used to get. <laughs> I haven't done any so work quickly. for Philly like, Games. There were times yeah, when. Yeah, team has just abandoned him left and right. Right now, let's. Not... We're not allowed to say things we can't take back. We might get arrested. 
By who? The Australian police? Yes. <laughs> the Australian. Okay. They're the no, worst. Exactly. You can't tell the difference between them say, and the though, criminals. I haven't done... I've only done, like, two voice works for the whole thing, like, two uh, sets of lines, and I think that's been it for the whole thing. Yeah. I did a trailer, the winter special, and that's it. I don't even think you're, you're probably on the team anymore at this point. No, he's still I'm in shining armor and fancy pants. I'm still on the team. Oh, you've ruined everything. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like... I've uh, ruined the secret of who's going to be in the game. Oh, no. Mm. No one watches this podcast. Game, it's anyways. a visual novel. This long, but... the, the game is was canceled and restarted and canceled like three times already. It's a visual novel, guys. We were C&D'd four times, but we, <laughs> yeah. we with our expertise in yeah. the law, managed to fight Hasbro back. Yeah. The I power mean, of Australian law. We probably shouldn't joke about that, because now some... I like burst into the courtroom this. with a 50 ml syringe. Oh yeah, like that time Cabral <laughs> called one of the show like, nobody moved that nobody we were moved. doing something yeah. mildly illegal. I think that's the thing. What like, happened? The time you told, uh, you know, uh, uh, Kelly Metzgar that we Kelly? were doing unauthorized uh, readings of episodes, yeah. which is technically <laughs> not legal. Well, no, it's <gasps> parody, so it comes under fair use. It's I'm not parody. Go. Yeah, it is. We do funny voices. It's not parody. Something interesting about um, IP laws. Um, when you go to a con and you buy something like pony related from a non-licensed vendor, it's completely illegal. <laughs> if so, if yeah. someone's drawing like a, like their it's their own art, they draw like Spitfire or something like that, but they sell it to you, it's oh. completely illegal. Like. The yeah. FBI can bust through the door and just like totally arrest everyone. Arrest the whole every, convention. Every vendor without like permission from like. Yeah. <laughs> and like, that's something. Yeah. That's something interesting that like all artists keep in mind. Like you're already criminals. Yeah. So like, or like you're at least pony criminals. artists. I was born like, already criminals. Taking commissions. Yeah, it's, it's like that in Australia. Criminals. They're they're born criminals in Australia. Yeah, but that's only because Gordon we put them there as criminals. Want to be <laughs> so are you saying that, like, because you're already a criminal, it doesn't matter if you steal more things? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Not, not, like, not exactly. Well, since I'm all saying, artists are criminals... Matter, it doesn't matter if you pirate things. Yeah, well, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, so it's, since artists are already criminals, I guess Adobe won't mind if I just borrow After Effects and Photoshop and <laughs> Illustrator. Yeah. For a little while. I'll, be, I'll give yeah. it back. I swear I'll give it back later. update to seven. Yeah. <laughs> I swear I'll, I'll stop the once they get to the next update, then I'll just download that. Um, yeah, just to should. confirm to everyone, I haven't pirated the software yet. <laughs> oh, no. I, I completely like pay for everything that I own. Okay, Gene's just admitted in his kind of slightly ironic statement that he pirates software, so FBI, if you are listening, or the NSA is... <laughs> the Queen of England's listening in on this, remember? Yeah. My word! How did a young man been she's, stealing She's going to arrest you now for that horrific accent. <laughs> she can't! It's she's going to arrest you for associating with the traitors. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alex! She can arrest you, you Lightning. She can't get us. the crown! God. You sound like uh, <laughs> if you ever seen Ivor the Engine, which was a like animated thing. You sound oh like all the gosh, women. Oh my gosh, I've that. seen Ivor the Engine. Yeah, I've um, seen that. Good show, even though it wasn't around when I was young it and before I was born, but still a good show. I, li I liked it actually. I like the uh, animation style they had to it. Yeah, it's nice. It's set in Wales. Yeah, I know it is. That's yeah. really hence their accents. Yeah, and funnily enough, they have mines and stuff in the background, which is very stereotypical. And then Thomas and Friends came out and just destroyed Ivor the engine. Yeah, okay, we need to stop uh, talking about this again. Let's go back. You know what's in the field, fields and stuff in Thomas the Tank Engine? Ponies, right? So now we're back on topic again. <laughs> yeah, it's all the ponies. Oh, wait, really quickly, just random thing. I want to know if people ever, if you're listening to this so far, I want to know if people heard this. There's a uh, Thomas Friends new movie coming out next year about World War Two. Oh, yeah, I did hear about that. Interesting. Okay. I just okay, imagine, yeah, like, Thomas going through a battlefield and then getting one of his tracks blown off and then being like... <laughs> it's like D-Day, but with tank <laughs> engines. 
It'll it'll also be be I also remember the Thomas that. Vietnam episode where they the <laughs> gang is all brought to Vietnam to yeah. carry. I would watch it if Thomas and friends did the World War II thing and Thomas was like in the middle of a firefight or anything. I would watch that. Wait, sorry, no, we're no, gonna no, have like it, Viet it Cong. Like a, it would be a spinoff of Mash. Like they they are just piling you know oh, wounded God. soldiers onto Thomas and friends and having them carry them back from the front lines. They even have cars. They're just throwing them on the engine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought you were throwing them into the furnace for a second. I was like, no, you can't power the train with people. <laughs> Actually, Not you unless can. you try really hard. <laughs> if you believe, and the magic will help you. Believe, you can burn all. Yeah. So like, I tried, there's a terrible joke, there, but I'm not going to say it. it. Yeah, we're, we're overthinking this, and the point is that I tried to segue it back on topic, and then everyone just changed it again. Well, yeah, the World War Two with Thomas and friends. Yes, Anyways, I know. Well, when it ponies. comes out, we can. Meanwhile, back with ponies. Yeah, no. There's nothing more to say about ponies at this point. Mm. Uh, we, we, we've kind of mined the topic of ponies and uh, evolved with the uh, only cotton well, candy Tumblr. Well, I mean, we don't pirate. necessarily talk about all ponies and a few things and not. And a few so. things not. So this technically counts as a few things exactly. not. Exactly. No, but how do you define a few? Yes, this whole podcast a few things not. A few is an <laughs> undefined number. So therefore, you know, yeah. as long as we do talk about ponies at some point. Well, no, because when does it become a lot? If we do sure. like multiple shows that are not about ponies at all, like we, that one show multiple, that you in, that you asked to do about computers. In multiple shows so far, we have talked about stuff that wasn't. When did I talk about yeah. computers? I, I remember, remember, like it was like episode three. Episode, you, uh, episode you four, did we had a computer versus about, uh, console system. Oh yeah, before. yeah, that was yeah, good. Yeah, that had nothing to do with ponies at all. It was just about consoles and computers. Yeah, exactly. So I mean, the thing is, we're basically fine because we, we we you know we talk about a whole bunch of different things. Yeah, uh, we just have tend to have one focal point uh, yeah. of discussion, so which we never talk about. We talk about it. It's like that time. thing that everyone does on the internet. You put ponies on something, and then automatically you'll get you know, it's guaranteed views. Yeah, <laughs> well, <laughs> some of the time. we talked about the, um, for like you know three quarters of the uh, of the episode. Yeah, you know, it's not like we're going that off topic when we like devote five minutes to talking about something else. You do realize yeah, also just quickly crazy. that that doesn't always hold true, Gene, because um, Creative's interview only got 55 views. Oh. <laughs> to be fair, it was creative. Yeah. I'm and sorry. to be fair, I wasn't there. He refused to put on the, the it on his Tumblr. Cabral wasn't there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why that makes a interview. difference, though. No offense. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's not that I, it would get any worse. I'm just saying, like, how would they know unless they clicked on it? And in which case, if they click, he posted it, on his Tumblr. People, his <laughs> I was gonna say his fans, but uh, I mean people might have, <laughs> people might have clicked on it. My fans. Yes, oh. other people's fans My might have, fans. you know, found it through him and then clicked on it. No. Right. Okay. Have, it's like, he has like, like four or five right followers. I don't think we should rib oh. creative when he's not here to defend himself. Even though uh, I think here. this is a perfect time to <laughs> rib creative. Yeah, actually. it's like with the French. We rib the French when they're not here to stop us. So yeah, I know, why, but why, there's why, never why? any French people here, so that's not really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're also <laughs> never here to stop us. So <laughs> they can't really they stop, stop anyone. I mean, actually, the French could stop us. Yeah, anyone, when have yeah. they ever stopped anything? <laughs> oh, <laughs> could stop the Germans. Yeah. Well. Yeah. yeah. They couldn't stop the Germans, they couldn't stop the trying to the side with America to strike Syria. I don't know how that would have gone down. Actually, oh, that's, that's easy. What would have happened was uh, World War III. The French's decoy. <laughs> World War Three and like Syria, like even though there's loads of countries in between, they instantly invade France. And <laughs> surrender straight away. <laughs> <laughs> they go it for is France the focal first. point of the world. <laughs> they go for France first because it's seen as the weakest target after what happened in the world. <laughs> <laughs> they go for the African country. They, 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 the French, the French thinks that no one will cut through the Ardennes anymore because oh, of World War yeah. Two. Like people will definitely like they like um, they definitely reinforced it. But yeah, in fact they haven't because it's like oh it's still too hard to cut through the Ardennes. So. Oh, well, yeah. Do that again. But they didn't learn last time. It's like, no, it's still too difficult. No one will do it this time around. <laughs> <laughs> if it happens again, <laughs> yeah, they never learn their like, lesson. All my invades. French followers, because I know I have a really a good number of them. Yeah, you do. Um, you, they're, they're, they're super cool dudes. It's not like, you, it's your fault. country. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not you, it's lightning. He's English. Yeah. Naturally, you, you guys. Where do you live? Naturally, He's we have that kind I of have friendly rivalry. And by like, friendly, I mean I hate everything. Uh, I, I don't have any French friends. Actually, actually two of your French followers. I actually did meet several of you in person uh, at BC, and you were super cool dudes. So obviously, I have nothing against any of you personally. 
I you like are how wrong. we have to have this disclaimer like people think we're being serious. <laughs> it's well, okay, we don't well, hate I, you. I, I, Look, let's, let's make, let's, uh, to make this all fair, mm. if, uh, if Syria invaded someone, it probably wouldn't be France. They'd yeah. take over Poland first. It, no, no. It... <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know we're going for like the serial thing here, and I was like, oh no, 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 that'd definitely be Israel. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's serial, are there weapons like Captain Crunch and all of them? Syria, not serial. Serial? <laughs> no. See, well, you, I heard I feel like, I feel like that'd be a great unifying factor for the Syrians, actually. Like, <laughs> let's all get together and invade Israel. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's a good Come idea. on, everybody, let's go and. Oh god, no! I, I can't make any sense about that because Israel, all of them would lead to really dark places. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like France, you know. I mean, yeah, they're French. I mean, the thing is, the problem is they're French. Yeah, I mean, you know, they're not bad guys. Yeah, our empire was bigger than yours, and I do fault you for that. But you know, uh, I, I, you, what can you expect from a country that was invaded by Germany after wanting stuff from Germany to seem like they? See, he's boss. just mad that you guys, you guys and us, yeah. managed to kill them off in America. But as Do had helpfully linked me to an article ages and ages and ages ago, it was the entire population of America, well, not the entire one, but a lot of the population of America and the whole French army versus like 400,000 British soldiers. So you were kind of <laughs> bound to win anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the French are getting better at fighting than the English. Now that's well, definitely actually, not true. Traditionally, the <laughs> World French War actually, II, I think the French fight. army has actually traditionally done a lot better than the English army. Like the English win because of their navy and air force. Yeah, exactly. Now, if yeah, they'd been near the, the coast, we would have absolutely destroyed them. <laughs> no, Andrew Jackson would have just marched up his like little tiny regiment and kicked all of your yeah. ass all, oh, yeah, the way yeah. back to, <laughs> all the way back to wherever you guys That's are. I guess from. then Ezio from Assassin's Creed comes in and starts attacking us as well. <laughs> it's, it's Connor. Connor's the guy who kills the English for really friendly to You guys fight. know about it's... how Andrew Jackson like kept killing British soldiers like even <laughs> long after the War of 1812 ended? <laughs> Like, like, like just, months yeah. afterwards, he's still like campaigning against them. He like literally charges up again and beats the shit out of, uh, beats the bleep. Sorry, you're gonna have to bleep that too. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> beats the, <laughs> beats like, beats like the stuffing out of the, um, uh, all the British soldiers. Yeah, yeah. That, that actually is a kind of funny story. Yeah, uh -huh. the main problem with that was the British believe in traditional fighting, so they that's just be a war of fairness, and then they get stabbed in the face. Actually, no, that's, that's the thing they they didn't actually in uh, in yeah. the uh, Revolutionary War they were not fighting like both sides were not fighting like it wasn't like the Americans were fighting in a ragtag uh, guerrilla rebel style and the English weren't fighting in a traditional style and that's why they lost because the thing was the British style actually kicked the crap out of our style yeah we're a death uh, like, oh definitely the, the English were used to fighting people I was, who being, were I was being heavily sarcastic yeah. actually I, I do know that yeah. oh yeah, yeah. What, wasn't it like um, the Americans tried traditional warfare but like the British were t completely like disciplined more than they were yeah, so they just not they, destroyed the thing, like, everyone was like oh but then the Americans used guerrilla taxis and that's why they won and that isn't actually the case the guerrilla taxis didn't no, really it's not work actually. Uh, like they, they worked better than trying to fight traditionally, but the British were completely used to fighting people who were used to that because yeah. they were used to fighting in Africa and other places. Well, it's like, yeah, we had traditional like a quarter of the world as part of our empire. We kind of knew how to fight in a jungle. Yeah, fight people yeah, who were exactly. trying, who were hiding behind trees. Like they, yeah. they weren't actually so it's completely that traditionalist difficult. that they couldn't figure out. How I to wonder shoot where he stuff. is. Yeah. Uh, it's mostly <laughs> that like. So whatever that film was, where that guy like and his two sons managed to take down a whole oh, the, regiment the in the anti Semitic uh, dude. Uh, yeah, that that's not possible. You can't oh, no. do that. It is. <laughs> oh well, oh, yeah. yeah. Do, oh, well, well here, here's the thing. Like, like, like all those like Call of Duty like games make it feel like you can just like run around with like an LMG. Yeah. Like first of all, run around with an LMG. That's already hilarious. Yeah, that's but, already um, a problem right there. Exactly. And, and you, you like just blow down their entire team. Yeah. <laughs> Like, 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 yeah, you could do that if you like really, really like sneak and sneak up again behind them with a mounted machine gun and just like, yeah. and then you like, oh, hey, what's up? And then they're like, what? Yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, like, uh, that's the problem that I have with all those games is that it's just so, like, what are the chances really... that you could one man army an entire like other force? You can if you're Rub Brown. You can if you have a Negev. <laughs> you can if you have a. You can if you're Chuck Norris. <laughs> 
No one's going to get that reference because <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, yeah, it's like you guys say, if you can do it, if you're those people, Chuck Norris, or if you're fighting the French, I mean, you can stand up to one and like, uh, defeat armies like that. Red Brown, he was an American football player turned action hero who like basically just did horrible, horrible, not very good remakes, like yeah, ripoffs of other people's action movies. But he is the greatest action hero of all time because all of his movies are like so ludicrously over the top that they make everyone else look like complete losers because of how not over the top they are compared to this guy. Second. What about Arnold Schwarzenegger? I swear, like he's he's, he's great. I love like Arnie. the king of not getting hit yeah, by AK forty seven bullets. Yeah, even like, though it's, like ten guys shooting him. <laughs> like Red Brown, like basically every movie he's in, picks up like an automatic machine gun and fires it one handed, <laughs> like a, a, a saw. Dual like, wielding. A a of machine machine guns. Guns. Yeah. He's He's great. He's the greatest. The only way you he's can like top Master that Chief, then, huh? Is um, grab two like LM like uh, HMGs or two like mini guns and just go around dual wielding that. I'm sure someone's done that before. There is actually yeah, a scene it's the in uh, uh, it's not Strike Commander, but it's one, one of the movies he was in where he actually picks up the mounted machine gun off a jeep and starts firing as people start like firing explosives at him that explode behind him. <laughs> he's just screaming with these explosions going off behind him, firing off an entire mounted machine gun that he's got crushed it like hell in the crook of one arm with mm-hmm. a machine gun an automatic machine gun in the other like hand a browning just in one firing. hand just like firing <laughs> off 50 browning. cows <laughs> it's the greatest thing red brown he's, he's, so, he's, he's super hype so how do we get from ponies to guys carrying mountain machine guns with one arm because oh, everyone I was need... like oh the french army's better than yours that's why their uh empire was so small compared to ours then obviously even though we used our navy Obviously. to get most of that because it was on the other side of the world, but that's not the point. <laughs> anyway, I think we're just about out of time at this point, but uh, yeah, we had a time limit. Uh, we generally try to get We, did, we went over it, so this it doesn't really like, matter anyway. It looks like we wasted the a bunch of time like talking about random nonsense, and I think we <laughs> asked how many questions did we even ask him? Two, three. We asked him a couple. <laughs> Just incidentally, has anyone Thing. seen that video on YouTube where there's like a jeep with the fifty no, machine gonna... gun, and he goes to fire it and the barrel falls off? No, no. Anyway, that. so yeah. no. Um. Anyway, I mean, yeah. If go there's check any out, more questions go... anyone else has that we didn't address in this interview, like my Tumblr is right here in interview. the description. Yeah, ask him at his Tumblr, the only cotton candy Tumblr, Rambo Dash, the one we're not Lyra. Button, smut. Okay, smutty butt. Okay, right, we get Is the idea. Is smutty butt or smut butt? It's uh, cotton candy butts and smut. Okay, cotton candy yeah. butts and smut. All right, that's... The, um, if anyone asks, you didn't don't, get that from don't, us. Yeah, we're not going to link that one in the video because we're not... It's, on, it's on my main page. You can find it. It's yeah. not hard to find. It's the one with NSFW written next yeah, to it. Like, really, though, if you don't want to see that stuff, like, don't even click on it because it really... Yeah. It's as bad as it sounds. And for any, any viewers that don't know what not safe for work means, it means porn. Yeah. Here's like, the thing. If you don't know what not safe for work means, don't click it. Yeah. <laughs> and if you still click it anyway, thinking you'll like it, and then coming back to us complaining because you didn't like it, then that's just stupid, and you shouldn't have done it in the first place. <laughs> All right, who's up for some TF2? If you lasted this long, <laughs> right, See you guys stupid. later. <laughs> yeah, see you guys later. We're going to go and play TF2 with this guy. What's your secret end work? Oh, the secret end word? Uh, people will know because it's like it's like right at the end. Okay, well, yeah. let's see. What's what's our secret end word? Sorry, secret what word? <laughs> but, but, uh, the but, secret end, end word is end word is <laughs> like meaning meaning um <laughs> meaning cheap meaning uh, miserly. Yes, someone actually got fired as you told me from their job because they. Put that and someone. It was a forced it. resignation, but yeah, it was, was essentially it really one of the characters from that old Christmas movie. Could uh, be so Miser, why, why, why we bleep that one and screwed. just make the, uh, the 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 secret N word, butts. Just because that's not going to get us in trouble with our. How about you know, plot? Plot. Okay, plot. Perfect. We're done. Cave Johnson, Jeez. we're done here. Oh, I ended Jay it Johnson, before you done. did the catchphrase. Oh, that's such a shame. Wait, start recording it now and then edit on the. <laughs> edit on Don't the. Don't forget uh, about the prolific, prolific, no, prolific. Fine. Fine. Oh my god, this stuff.
horrific, yes. horrific 